Alright, I'm just gonna sit here for a few minutes, so welcome chat to so much chaos. <laughs> oh my god, what the hell. Game capture, please. Please work. <laughs> just, th this isn't scuffed at all, what are you talking about? Now it should work. Yay. Alright, cool. Now it works. Hello, chat. How are you? <gasps> Welcome to a new game that I admittedly only played, like, once before. <laughs> and I only played a small portion of it when... <laughs> when I first found out about it, like, a year ago. So, memory, not the best. I remember some of this game. I remember it was chaotic as hell. <laughs> Which is kind of why I love this game, is because it was so chaotic. God damn it, don't break on me. Don't break on me. Don't be a whore. really gonna play this game with me. Alright, screw you. <laughs> Alright, I'm just gonna use this. I I'm just waiting for one of my friends to come back before I really start the game. But, <laughs> anyways, how are all of you? I love the music. I love the music of this game. Got three people. <laughs> Yo! <laughs> oh, he's spiking. Hell yeah. Oh, we're no longer spiking. Oh, that's good. I'm not good that you're overwhelmed, but overall good. That's good. I went back down to two. Okay. So, how many of you have actually heard of this game before? <laughs> Just as a general consensus. Because <laughs> if it's none, oh boy, are we in for a trip. The, the streamline wasn't so bad. <laughs> but yeah, my computer's like that. It happens. I have it. Oh, you're in for a treat, my friend. <laughs> the, this game is... It's a dating sim? But with at least a handful of twists in it. It's a, it's a phone line dating sim. Quite literally. <laughs> and you'll see what I mean in a minute. <laughs> There's definitely a lot of phones involved. And inanimate objects. <laughs> Please, Rob, come back. <laughs> Why is there a rat? What the fuck? <laughs> They're a rat fan. <laughs> I did not ask for the rat fan. I was gonna say, don't put the rat man in there. <laughs> I pet it. <laughs> I pet the rat. <laughs> just, just, you sure? Look, please stand by. I'm grabbing the rat. I'm grabbing the rat because I'm concerned. Yes. <laughs> Why? Open image in a new tab. 
just, 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 just chat. Are you sure? Are you sure you want to pet this man? Man, you just went, yes, mine, mine. I want to pet the rat man. Why? <laughs> So, what? Really? Him? Him? Rabbit? That's true. You have returned! Hello. I have. <laughs> yeah. yeah, I'm not alone. Chat, chat wants to pet the rat man. <laughs> Seems that way. Why do you think this is cute? It's just an overgrown man wearing a rat costume. Why? I don't understand. It should should be so you can see the stream, yeah. Alright, chat, you ready to go? You ready to go into the, the chaos? I'm scared. I'm scared. Can you see the screen alright? I'm a chaotic rabbit person. I am scared. <laughs> alright, let's go. New game. No more rat pet. Sorry, folks. R R Veronica. <laughs> Arrow keys. Move cursor. Okay. Okay. I'm gonna forget these in like 0 0.5 seconds. <laughs> well, you're not gonna use Q. It's God! It's God! Hello. Welcome to Dial Town Phone Dating Sim Demo. <laughs> you must now answer this this hound's question of three. Is there any particular reason you are speaking in all caps? Wait, am I me right now or me? <laughs> all right. Now, <laughs> if, you, if you shut up, can I ask you what your name is? Wow. Right. Anywho, what's your name? That's a good question. What is our name? Just, just, just snow or snow cake? Honestly, if you want snow, I would think of someone else. You know exactly who I'm referring to. <laughs> Snow. Oh god, poor Snow. Really? That's your name? <laughs> oh, hun. I'm so sorry. <laughs> What's that supposed to mean? No further comments at this time! <laughs> Anywho, second question. Phone head? 
Or typewriter head. I want the phone head. Let her typewriter head. Okay. Don't pet the dog. <laughs> it's just like puppy, don't pet the dog, honey. Alright, chat. Phone head or typewriter head? <laughs> Mm. I'd say do eeny meeny oh. miny moan. I I'm I'm doing this the democracy way. <laughs> got one vote for phone. You got one vote for phone, one for oh, typewriter. Because yeah. <laughs> yes, I'm counting your vote as a vote. I mean, typewriter would make you stand out more. Lick it. Phone. Okay, that's two votes for phone. Lick the phone. Oh, looks like phone. <laughs> Alright, we're going phone head. Yeah, I don't think phone. Nice. Enjoy having tel <laughs> telemarkers living in your head. I'd rather be a, a phone than a fucking dog. <laughs> My greatest burden is remembering where I buried my old breadsticks at any given time. L. That is a please great big problem. Please reevaluate your life choices thusly. <laughs> now, final question. A boy, girl, What's the private final investigator. <laughs> ah, yes, the three genders. Actually, or other is also an option, but nobody cares about other. I'm... Enter your pronouns. I'm going boy. Just... boy. Please tell me that went through. Which one did you pick? I I'm I'm going boy. Gotcha, gotcha. <laughs> All right. Enjoy having the inability to open pi pi pickle jars, I guess. Hey, fuck you, I can open pickle jars. <laughs> Thanks, Teddy Taco! <laughs> can I just play the game now? I don't know, can you? <laughs> Dick! <laughs> oh my god, the words are cut off on- <laughs> Oh, okay. Good, good to know. Anyways, hopefully this is better. All right, then get out of my sight. Okay. We don't need to see all of that. That's yeah. Please, please note while well, I have technical difficulties with my fucking computer. <laughs> Alright, then get out of my sight. <laughs> and this me. Is, um, concerning. He's very mean. <laughs> Dog God is very condescending to me. It's me! Hmm. <laughs> you sinful creature. <laughs> Seems I'm alive again. Why do I have so many nipples? Darn. <laughs> I hate when I do that. <laughs> God damn it, I hate when I'm alive. <laughs> hmm. My tastes are firm and ripe. <laughs> Egg. I must be Egg. getting ready to hatch. <laughs> Egg. 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 Time for reproduction Egg. is now. Oh yeah, this game gets weird. Fast. I must find a dank, dark pit to lay my eggs in. <laughs> Listen, man. This game gets a lot weirder than this. This is the most normal the game's gonna be. <laughs> Listen, Dog God at the beginning is the most normal this game's going. Fairground is dark, dank, and greasy. Plentiful supply of carnival food nearby. 
Yes. Yes. I must go to the carnival. <laughs> oh god. <laughs> Just POV. I get clown jump scared. Well, there we have it. Yeah. So close, yet so far. Everything is delayed on my end, I don't know why. Must gain entry. <laughs> Must penetrate defenses of mile high railings. Oh dear god, not say it like that. Don't say it like that. Don't That's say it area. like that. I need to lay my eggs. <laughs> no. Well, you could always, you know, go through the main gate. The plan's so crazy. It just might work. True. I want to flirt with him. <laughs> Greetings, ticket buffoon. <laughs> As an old-looking phone. My name is Jerry, but okay, sir. <laughs> How can I help you today? I wish to gain entry, Jerry of the ticket booth. Well, do you want to buy a ticket, sir? Nah, it's fine. I want to piss behind any of your rides this year. <laughs> I simply wish to find a feeded hole to lay my eggs in. Okay, this is definitely gonna need to buy a ticket from us if you wanna do that. Rats! <laughs> How much would they By the way, uh, <laughs> quick questions now. Yes. Is the guy behind the glass Jerry? Yes. Oh, so that's why it scares Jerry. Because I was gonna say bang on the glass until he gives up a ticket. <laughs> There's some bang on the glass that scares Jerry. <laughs> <laughs> It's just, just, just... <laughs> <laughs> See? We scared him to give you this. Yeah. Wow, that's have cheap. Zero dollars. <laughs> tell me, tell me, young squire. <laughs> Would you accept tales, stories, and other such whimsical parables as payment? No, 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 no one do. Ah, shoot, I was so close, too. Why is everything still framed when I watch it? Hey, wait a minute. Ain't you that creep who lives in the tent in the play playground of the park? Oh no, my cover has been blown! <laughs> Look, sir. I'm only telling you this because you have stench as drunk driveway customers. They let you loiter around here uninhabited for any longer. Fuck customers. It's, it's only us here and you. Valentine's Day, isn't that for romantic people? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but didn't you say you have eggs to lay or some some sour drivel to that effect? Wait, apparently from lay eggs. Listen, we don't press question the weird mpreg of this universe. It just exists. The thing is, the way he said it like that, the way Jerry described it, it sounds like it's more of an us thing than an, you know, something that happens with bum people. Surely you have to have a, some a mate of some kind if you're gonna get ready to lay eggs. Nah, I'm a loner. <laughs> Does well, a sock under my mattress count? <laughs> I guess that explains why you have to live so close to the woods. It's a real shame about the oh. long thing, though. Because the promotion we had oh. for Valentine's Day would really come in handy otherwise. You intrigue me, Ticket Man. Tell me more. <laughs> well... <laughs> Valentine's Day is for people who were, you know, in love. <laughs> Everything's still frame. I lag so much. <laughs> 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 
<laughs> what in God's green earth is that? Love is well. <laughs> Music it's change, oh no. Holy hands. Love is what happens when two grown ups start craving more than just business handshakes and platonic ice cream breaks. <laughs> Love makes two people want to go on romantic ice cream dates and drink all kinds of exotic elixirs and nectars together. Sounds like torture. <laughs> When two grown-ups are in love, they make joint bank accounts together, and then they go to movies together to feed popcorn kernels to the rats and cockroaches there. <laughs> and then one day, if you're lucky, your partner will take the kids away forever and go marry Steve, the guy at founding a, the accounting firm who works in the same cubicle as you, but gets 6% more per year than you, and you finally have a good night's sleep! I don't know if he's lamenting by the fact that his wife left him with the kids That's and took the kids with him or not. <laughs> it's just, just like the fucking. It goes from, oh, to be in love to, fuck you, Steve, in like less than five seconds. <laughs> he's ranting about how great that is. <laughs> That's love, my scary friend. Speaking of which, we have a promotion on today. Just for Valentine's Day. Two tickets for the price of one. For couples who are in love. <laughs> if you can somehow convince someone to bring you here, you can, I don't know, force them to pay you in, like a parasite. <laughs> Sounds about right. Granted, it'll take a real bastard to mission acquired. <laughs> <laughs> oh god fucking bus source mate. <laughs> Alright, okay, uh go do that. Away from here. Dang, and I wanted to flirt with Jerry. I wanna flirt with Jerry too. But I know if we flirt with him too early on, it's gonna end up really badly. Eh, uh, true. Thank Rotary Christ, please do. <laughs> <laughs> Scuttle away. <laughs> Jerry's venting. <laughs> He's just In truth, I think we might have traumatized him. He... Please, just let me scuttle away in peace. <laughs> just, just straight up just traumatize poor Jerry. <laughs> Which makes him the perfect target. He's already traumatized. Including the character you play, guys. <laughs> Chapter 1, the fan- the funfair date. I think you get the first two chapters free. Eventually I might, might buy the full version because I love this game. <laughs> Uh, Wait, there's more content than what we've been given? Ah, <laughs> uh, tent sweet tent. To find a well-functioning member of society to latch onto like a parasite, you'll have to leave your tent, you know. Just, uh, uh, do, I do I have, I have to? to? <laughs> yes, yeah, so <laughs> bodily motion will be necessary today. Sorry about that. Ah, uh, fuck. <laughs> Friendly reminder. You can bring up the main menu at any point using the escape key, including during and pursuit of dialogue and during player choices. This allows you to tweak your options and save the game at any point. Use this if you want to do something and you feel like it may get you arrested or killed. <laughs> yeah, that's fair enough. That's kind of threatening, but okay, thank you, Mr. Dog. What the fuck was that? <laughs> Why does he have a waffle? Tent, open menu, give up on love quest. Damn it, we're gonna find love, goddammit. Where would you like to go? Do we really have to find love, though? <laughs> to the park. <laughs> I feel like we're gonna get arrested if we go there. Oh, the park. <laughs> you can roll around in the nice spring grass, unless you mind getting a few discarded syringes stuck in your arm. <laughs> 
So, what now? <laughs> you want me to lie down in the grass? <laughs> that is insane on many levels. It, it's obvious that he does. <laughs> so why not? <laughs> I mean, we're already a freak of danger in this world. You have friends? Shut! <laughs> Dog Jesus? Dog Jesus. Ah, oh, isn't this just tranquil? It's really quite serene, yes. It's good to get away from the big city. You're the only one, like, two yards further away from you? Yeah, the peacefulness really helped clench the old schedule, right? <laughs> sure. Why don't you do this more often? Well, usually, the grass here is laden with blades, syringes, and other unmentionables. Well, that's- it's a good thing that- ah! <laughs> What the fuck?! <laughs> what the fuck?! <laughs> Where did the knife come oh, from? I mean, I get the oh, ridges. Oh, oh, fuck. Oh, shit. Oh, no. Oh, yeah. I think I can see a scratch or two, all right. Why is night? Why well, hate nature and shit? <laughs> In all fairness, nature didn't leave those. Well, technically, syringes are completely man made and used to, like, silence narrator. <laughs> Yeah, you might want to find a band-aid, or ten, or a few, <laughs> for a few of those little scrapes if you can. Then you're penniless, and bandages don't exactly grow on trees. Oh, but you syringes grow in fields! <laughs> Heroin needles. <laughs> I'm worried about where the knife came from. Where did the <laughs> knife come from, and why is it lodged in so deep? Why is it a butter knife? How is that exactly, they're not there. Oh, shut up, you wounded cry, baby. <laughs> Come on, back to the park we go, then. <laughs> well, self-injury accomplished. Self-injury of the days. Player has an STI now. <laughs> Leave the park. Where would you like to Nah, go? they're fine. Good. Mm -hmm. Go to the nearby playground. Sure. But you can see someone was having a picnic, and they were making toast, and they just forgot the knife. Well, how did the knife get lodged so deep in his arm? <laughs> That's the concerning part. Did someone just eat a knife? <laughs> did they, like, sharpen a butter knife? Like... <laughs> ah, the playground. As long as you stay exactly 25 feet from the perimeter of the zone of merriment, you're, you're fine. So, what now? Uh... Everything's frozen on the screen for me. I measure the ground. Exactly 25 Summon a nearby child? Feet. Perfect. <laughs> you know... Now might be a good time to reflect on tribal labor laws and why you're no longer legally allowed to get any closer to this very playground again in the first place. SHUT! <laughs> I REFUSE TO LEARN ANY LESSONS! <laughs> right that sounds about right. Let's, let's summon a nearby child. Alas, your only form of intel. Ch CHILDER! CHILDER! <laughs> Come gather round, children! I am concerned. We're gonna get arrested. Hey, Bozo, can I help you? Why do I keep giving them all southern accents? Child! Yeah, I'm a child, what of it? I'm four foot seven, smell like grass, despite never touching a dude to having grass app on my phone. And I take my crystal meth licorice flavor. Kids grow up so fast nowadays. <laughs> I'm concerned. Well, I remember when I was your age. Baby, you were a child? <laughs> I think that's the narrator. Is it? Well, I'm 
No, that's definitely him. Why my tail hasn't even grown yet? <laughs> Still waiting on the bad boy to regrow. Well, once it does! <laughs> okay, scary green man! Say, aren't you not allowed to go within 25 feet of this here playground? <laughs> Joke's on you, vertically stunted shit lord! <laughs> I measured the ground before summoning you. I'm just within an irresponsibly marginal, but still legal, distance. <laughs> ha! <laughs> Girl, what? <laughs> You're less than, than 25 feet from me right now, though. Nuh uh uh. We learned about two digits numbers at school yesterday, so your reptile brain bullshit won't work on me this time, bozo! Wait, we're for a reptile? Yes! Well, double joke's on you, you little scroid! The law says that I can't get within 20 feet, 5 feet of the playground! <laughs> Now within little scrotes contained within its confines. Ooh. Technically, you approached me. <laughs> I win. He's right. You're Mark Zuckerberg. <laughs> Mark Zuckerberg, if he wasn't rich. So if you so if you go back to the slide, you won't be able to talk to me without shouting. Okay, see you later then, Bo. No, please, no, I need intel. If this is the question about the birds and the bees, then I'm sorry, but my dad got really angry when I asked him about that for you. <laughs> 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 Turns out shit gets nasty when birds fuck. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, Russia, does that actually know. involve, uh, birds and bees together? This is what Mark Zuckerberg wants Metaverse to be like! <laughs> <laughs> Turns out shit gets nasty with birds fuck. <laughs> no, it's not that question this time. Then, what is it? Let's see if this child has Oh, now I can see the screen. Can you pay me into the fun fair? Are you seriously begging children now? Have you sunk that low? <laughs> you know, I think we'd be arrested on the spot if we went with the child. I was always capable of such things. There is no lower I can sink to now. <laughs> sure, I guess, but like... I am a literal child! Do you think I have money? Yes! Spoiled bitch! What in the name of the ocean? <laughs> Don't play dumb with me, Billy, you juvenile shit stain! <laughs> I know your dad gives you pocket money for doing your weekly chores. Cough up the money or your kneecaps. <laughs> Not to be a child. Fight. Wow. <laughs> uh, okay, forget the threatening part. I bit off more than I can chew. He's four foot seven. You can kick his knees in. I need somewhere damp and moist to lay my eggs. All right, I'll stop you right there. I have two dollars and seven cents to my name. Perfect. Which I can only afford one ticket. Well, that's not a problem given the discount. Oh, come on. You can't just give me your money. Yeah, well, that isn't... What's in it for me? What's in it for old Billy? You little shit stain. <laughs> <laughs> It's a good thing this isn't, you know, a child-friendly stream. 
Because this is so much profanity, we get red flagged by YouTube by now. <laughs> just at this point, just be prepared. This is getting- this is gonna get weird. It's gonna get weird fast. <laughs> I'm going to keep it to the swearing part, not the really, really weird parts, but still, not for children. <laughs> What oh no, they seems are not for children in general. Some of them get uh uh I honestly don't know how to describe some of the weird ones I've seen other people play. <laughs> I mean one of them involved literal um uh NPCs from games. You can literally um date the ship from Galaga in one of them. <laughs> Wondrous riches, fertile soil, bountiful harvests. You're just panning some text you memorized from an advert to the back of Farm Farming Weekly 95, aren't you? <gasps> My job, how did you know? Well, that way it does. You quoted the exact text when you were luring those kids back to your tent for forced labor, remember? <laughs> That now I'd hardly call it, it was forced labor. <laughs> the context of the magazines were read out aloud during your trial. <laughs> In their entirety. <laughs> Yo, child slavery. <laughs> well, to quote a horrifying two yard tall cat with a human face wearing a striped hat. <laughs> The magazines are full of hoes anyway. <laughs> it is literally the worst reference you could have made. Period. <laughs> he pulled out the fucking megaphone for that one. I'm surprised the dad hasn't noticed, honestly. Sorry, pal, but you gotta make it on your own. I think I we failed. I understand. Bitch. <laughs> what are the new cool words? Oh man, cool is the new drool. <laughs> what you need is some quality slurs. No. Pass. I'm not getting demonetized because of you, fucker. <laughs> <laughs> it just made this is a stream, not a recording. Just, just the fact that it was just, well, you needed some slurs. Me, no, 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 no. <laughs> Coward. <laughs> Say, what do kids eat? Are you trying to lure more kids away to clean your tent again? No. <laughs> you are, aren't you? <laughs> yes. <laughs> no, no slurs. Now answer the question, you prepubescent shit stain. <laughs> well, personally, I consume an exclusive dire diet of glitter, molded clay, chocolate milk, and chicken nuggets, like most kids my age. I would be horrified, but also, yeah. No, the glitter has to be edible glitter, and it needs to be in a horrifying concoction of caffeine and sugar and lemonade. You wanna with a, it down? <laughs> no. Yeah, with a plastic dino floating in the middle. I can't really write. <laughs> oh, because you don't have a pen? Sure. <laughs> Home dog, slice man. Wait, I didn't even realize that was a response to the kid. So what else do you want, bozo? <laughs> oh, fucking, I'm done. You're dismissed, child. <laughs> I do have a name, you know. That child has no fear of us. <laughs> yeah, I don't care to learn it. <laughs> Be gone, stunted one. <laughs> <laughs> Be gone with thee. Alright, later, bozo. 
I'm surprised he was willing to talk to us. I'm gonna be real with you. Would you like to go? I wanna go. Let's go to uptown, uptown Dial Town. Yeah. We're more likely to find someone that we can go uh, to the place with, and don't get arrested on sight. What does that say? N nothing to see here. Oh. Home of everything and everyone. Not cool enough to be in downtown Dial Town. It's gayer. <laughs> True. So, what now? Uh, sure. Hope of Dial so... Town, I summon thee! Oh no. Oh no, I've made a grave mistake. It's him! <laughs> Yo. <laughs> Wait, the dog is a hobo? Hey, nice to meet you, friendo. What, what was the voice I was using for him? Nice to meet you, friendo. The name's Hound. You need something? Does he want to date us? Hey, nice to meet you. Are you new around here? New? How? I'm the oldest thing alive! <laughs> Also, I asked again. Yeah, thing is, I'm kind of like God and stuff. <laughs> is this I just, had a waffle. is this just the creator self insert into this universe? I think so. And why the waffle? I asked again. <laughs> is it a yummy yasso or is it a chew toy? I created everything around you right now and farted out the cosmos and the stars and shit. Yeah, I'm kind of a big deal, actually. <laughs> then why are you a hobo? You created everything? Well, yeah, most things. <laughs> but not everything? Well, yeah, you guys did some of the work, to be fair. <laughs> more than great than you, you stinky butt. You know what? Fair. <laughs> <laughs> Ever, like, leave a takeout box in the corner of your room and forget to to bin the box, only to find a new species evolved from the remains of your chicken Thai curry from last month? No. Kick me, I'm God. <laughs> this world is takeout box, and I'm the hungover dude gazing upon infinite possibilities to disgust in disgust and awe. I'm confused. Don't worry, so am I, Masha. <laughs> yeah, it's nice to meet ya. But they're a hobo. Just the- are, are you drunk right now? Is, is, it, is it 11 a.m. yet? I'm awake and moving, so yes, it must be at least noon. Then I am indeed moments away from severe liver failure. Yes! <laughs> <laughs> What's your favorite hobby, God? <laughs> you ever eaten broken glass or shiny rocks before? <laughs> I don't re recommend it, but still, don't knock it till you tried it. I'll pass. Thanks. And why is? <laughs> no, I, I don't. I don't. No, I don't. My brain. <laughs> Just think, you look like you've eaten broken glass. Alright. Thanks, you too. What? <laughs> I... <laughs> Alright, thanks? You're very much welcome, yes. <sighs> if you're God, what's the meaning of life then? You want me to come up with a reason for you all existing in this? All this is existing? Don't you remember why you created the universe? I don't remember what I ate this morning. <laughs> Probably ate trash, knowing me. <laughs> so can you like come wow. up with the meaning of life right now? Nah, fuck that. Why don't you come up with the meaning of life? Probably be a million times more coherent than what I could think up. 
Well, the answer to that question, the meaning of life, is obvious. Everyone knows this. It's 42. <laughs> Thank God for the meaning. You're full of shit. <laughs> I don't know, man. In, in fairness, I am full of shit. Don't get me wrong. <laughs> but there probably is a reason you're all over here. Whatever the heck that would be. Oh, see, so you're... So you don't accept any other swears, but heck, is the line too far? Apparently. Heck, is where the line in the sand is? <laughs> well, there's a reason it's so important. How on earth can you forget it? Now, hang on there. I've got enough people misquoting me as is. <laughs> I simply stated there was a reason. Not that this said the reason made sense or even remotely important. <laughs> Please That's don't remember, fair. I'm just a little <laughs> creature at the end of the day. I, I know not what, what I do. <laughs> Aren't you also, like, God? Yeah, unless Taxman ass. <laughs> you think I have a yacht? <laughs> it's straight to your top bank. I- oh fuck my brain died. You think I have a yacht heats you straight into the top tax band? You try legally having the whole fucking universe and every bullshit creature residing in it? I paid my fair share in agony already, thank you very much, Mayor. Wow. Aren't you afraid you'll be arrested for standing on the road? What is a traffic cop to a god? <laughs> that is forever one you know, of that's my favorite fair. line of this entire thing is just, What is a traffic cop to a god? <laughs> I want to hear that in the series. We gotta use that line. <laughs> yes! I can think of at least like three characters that would say that just unironically. Oh, and, and I see it a perfect reply to that. Okay. What is a god to a non believer? What's a god to a non believer? <laughs> oh, they're both so good. Earth and you, and you know it. <laughs> Most traffic zones hold more power over you, and you know it. Youch! <laughs> I mean. You aren't wrong, but still, that shit stings. <laughs> I want to punch him. <coughs> punch the pop. Oh. I'm gonna ask about the- I do not numbers. encourage animal violence. God, how much would that even cost? One, maybe even two dollars? Do I look like I have two dollars right now? No, you look like you got a waffle. You're choking on a waffle, actually. <laughs> Just smite the mayor. <laughs> <laughs> Darn you, God, don't you control reality? Control reality? <laughs> <laughs> look at this shit show happened on this bastard of an orb we call Earth right now! <laughs> Fair. Do you honestly think I have a clue what's going on? That's a fair point. And given this world, you be god for a day. <laughs> All right. Yay. Punch God. Punch God. I'm not supporting animal violence, but punch God. You fool. I'm Are a gonna god. Die? HOW CAN YOU KILL A GUY?! A car? What a grand and intoxicating incense! How could you be so naive? I... Okay, I appear to have just shit myself. <laughs> 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 You know, Arcadi's not very impressive. I'm I'm not gonna lie. He can't even hold it in. I mean, seriously, if he needed to use the restroom, he could have just said so. You win the 
this round green one. <laughs> I gotta get going. I'm going too soon, eh? What's the rush? I got eggs to lay. Gotta lay some eggs. I am heavily praying. <laughs> Oh, I want that one. It just, I gotta pay child support to that witch I spent 10 years of my life with. <laughs> Sucks to be you. Oh, freak off, man. I'm glad that I don't have any outstanding child support payment. Sure, and wait, no, the kid, please! <laughs> <laughs> you know, I think he might have a few. We are having no luck finding someone to go with us. Where would you like to go? I'm waiting for the screen to change on my end. I'm going to downtown Dial Town. Sneak onto the subway. Yeah. Wee. Uh, downtown Dial Town. It's no longer gay. <laughs> Where the air tastes like crystal meth and crystal meth tastes like smog. <laughs> I don't know how that works. And why would you ever smoke crystal meth if it smells like smog? <laughs> so, what now? Read the notes of the nearby telephone. And no, I'm not doing a sex club one. <laughs> Nearby, a nearby pole teleports directly to you. Go! What the fuck? <laughs> you hope to notice something, anything that'll show, you, that'll help you into that fun fair. Hmm, let me see. No, we're not doing the sex one, because I know there's at least one on here. Read the bad boy letter. Hi, I'm Frunkles the Clown. <laughs> what the fuck is this? Clowns don't even exist anymore. But don't you believe in Bigfoot? Whole different kettle of fish. Bigfoot is real. Clowns are not. <laughs> Bigfoot is feral primordial ape who lives in the woods and is only ever seen through haze disposable camera footage. Exactly. He might as well be my uncle. <laughs> That's fair. Clowns are literally just people with funny red noses. How is that any less easy to comprehend? You think clowns are people? <laughs> clowns don't lay eggs. People don't lay eggs. Uh, it's say clowns don't lay eggs. You lay eggs. My point exactly. I mean, imagine. He's not having, wrong. I mean, have, imagine having a head covered in disgusting flesh. Can it relate? Could you? A red bulbous tumor attached to your face. <laughs> Fucking honks! <laughs> they have gigantic shoes, and yet they yet they yeet. <laughs> they drive around in comically tiny cars. <laughs> they blow up balloons and dance jigs all in the drop of the hat. I'm getting a very dark image in my head. <laughs> As if such absurd antics are medial. <laughs> POV literally just the circus. <laughs> yeah. They truly are wretched creatures. <laughs> huh? I had no idea what you, you felt this way. Awful beings. Okay, so should we skip over Frungles Edward then? <laughs> Fuck that, read the clown page, it might be funny. <laughs> What you said? <laughs> Fuck it, you're impossible. <laughs> Read the clown page! <laughs> Read the clown page! I'm reading it, I'm uh, reading see. it! <laughs> Let me see here. Hi, boys and girls! I'm Frungles the Clown. I really need money. I'm a real clown. 
I may not be licensed, but I'm also dabbling in plumbing and dentistry. Oh. <laughs> I'll do just about anything for four dollars. We, we don't even have enough to go to the fair. I don't think this is an option. I'll do anything. I'm living in a storm drain right now. You think any task is too lonely for this clown? <laughs> Wait, Pennywise? <laughs> it's, it's the dollar store version of Pennywise. <laughs> Four dollars? By God, I, you can afford that! I don't even have two dollars. Come on, we have a chip to feed. There's a whole page of this. Skip to the end, then. Look! Yours, Hunkly, Rungles the Clown! Honk honk! <laughs> I hate him already. Huh? Wow. I think the whiplash you just got from hurting that baby vomit. <laughs> I don't know how to curl me before, but I think I might- I might vomit! Wait, what even are you? Physically? I guess I'm like, a disembodied voice? Wait, how does that even work? Are you seriously asking the disembodied voice that only could hear you rationally explain itself to you? Yes. Yeah, that's exactly what I'm asking you to do. You're fucking crazy, man! <laughs> Stop following me around! That's good advice. I'm just gonna refuse to follow it. <laughs> In all fairness, I don't think that this embodied voice has a choice. Pennywise <laughs> really went down the drain after the last movie. <laughs> after losing the kids twice, he just decided, fuck it, I'm gonna become a circus clown. <laughs> I don't already feel that that. <laughs> Apparently. Okay, fuck it. Ow. Okay, what's next? Ow. A short. Let me see what else is on here. Oh, there's another one. Please don't be the poor one. Run to chimpanzee! <laughs> Good start. Hey, you! Yeah, you! Hey, you wanna take my chimpanzee out for tea? Nah, I've seen what those little shits do. He's a little on the feral side, but now he's rich full of sexual charity. He's just as adorable as ever! Oh dear. I think this is the one you were worried about. No. Just don't let him near kids, pets, open spaces, fire, or people. So, don't let him anywhere near anyone. Got it. Luckily, we don't classify as people. Four dollars. By God, you can afford that. <laughs> okay, this is clearly that Frongles Clan character again. <laughs> Your stomach is swollen with eggs, you trodulite. <laughs> you need to focus. Right, right, right. Sorry, sorry. <laughs> In all fairness, clown is very distracting. Are there any other advertisements latched onto that pole? Yeah, there's exactly one. Please don't be the one I think there is. Phone sex hotline! There it is! Somehow, I don't even think you're gonna get anywhere near with this one. Wanna bounce? Do you have any better ideas? Consider again. The bounce! We're calling- I don't wanna call the number. Yeah, fine, let's just bounce. I'm not getting fucking banned because of that. I have standards. Yeah. <laughs> I don't, but Away! I don't care. <laughs> if it was just us, I would do it, but if but we're streaming and I don't want to. True. If you want to find out what happens with that sort of thing, you gotta do that on your own. Go get the game. We'll, we'll, we'll come... <laughs> we might come back to this when we're not streaming, because I'm just kind of curious. I'm not desperate enough to call the call the hotline. Talk to a nearby passerby. Oh wait, is it them? No. Who are you? Hello, hello again. Wait, don't tell me. Oh. You need something. You need something, mate. <laughs> <clears throat> Why 
why don't I just imagine? Dear God, a, fancy pants. Voice, but just really aggressive. Who are you? <coughs> Who are you? <laughs> We're trying to be a good impression. We're trying to make a good first impression, man. The name's Nathaniel Hawthorne, Gardner. It's just an aggressive British accent. Bloody hell, chuff your acquaintance away, man. To anyone who's British watching this, I'm so fucking sorry. <laughs> so, fine. Sorry for the ass, mate. But oh, I am running quite late for a very important date. What's gotten you in a hurry, then? Well, well I've gotten... I've gotten to go to charity gig that I ain't old and to raise money for an alcoholic dogs, eh? Alcoholic dogs, okay. <laughs> right pissed, them, them mongrels are. Gotta get them conducting me a symphonic or orchestra. But, why well, reply to answer any questions you got? And if you're quick, I'll, I'll be rife chuffed. Oi, don't be daft. Surely you know. Nah, not a clue. Alright, so, imagine a ghost, yeah? I know I'm going Australian. But, like, it's stuck in a bloody contraption in it. <laughs> <laughs> and it's ollering from the inside machine, yeah? But the screams are like music and that, isn't it? <laughs> I understand even less about symphonics now, thank you. Don't mention it, governor. Just leave the magic to me then. Why is your. Is this like the dial tone version of like key marks where whatever your head is, that is what your job is? Yep. <laughs> Can you take me to the fun fair, please? Please, Dad? <laughs> cool, but I mean, that sounds like a rough dance. But unfortunately, I can't. Aww. Gotta go to my concert and I'll be right, right naked after. Green! What are you saying? Green. Oh god, am I being mugged? No, oh, mate. You're alright, no beef. Boy, so, we done with your little natter then, or what? You ever met God? Boy, the bum, yeah? Yeah, he created the whole universe in that, you know? Saw him fall face blind into a mud, a mud puddle yesterday. I believe that. Well, Grim. I'll let you go then. Good luck on your whatever. Right, let's get this done, though. I'm off to watch me fruity of a parmo and chicks. I am. Starting to lose brain cells. Nice meeting ya! Ta ta! We're not desperate enough to call the hotline. <laughs> Talk to a different I mean, passerby. We're... Yeah, that's talk to a different near right. That's right. <laughs> it's them! It's the gays! Hello? Uh, hello? I I'm sorry, Roger. I love you to death, man. But you've got to work on, on, on those nerves. Surely saying hello is just once would suffice, though. Uh, I don't know, Peter. It's just the, the, the green one. It, it's looking right at us. I think he wants something. Well, turn around and ask the nice man what he wants. Phone dating sim. Yes. Very chaotic phone dating sim at that. Uh, hey, nice to meet you, sir. Name's Roger. Hey, Roger. Uh, you bring me the nice fun fair, eh? Oh, jeez. I'm, I'm flattered, really. But your lunch break just ended and we've got to get back to work. 
head to Redhead? Firstly, my name's Peter. So, and it's nice to meet you, Peter. Yes, hello, hello. Secondly, no offense, but I'm married. But, but Peter, didn't you just call me, tell me kind of like what? Any, any X on the end, Roger? <laughs> That... <laughs> Whoops, my bad on that one. I mean, ah, oh, shit, Italian. My moral analysis, I don't speak that. Probably. Once again, I'm cock blocked by, <laughs> by Benito Mussolini himself. <laughs> Once again? Please don't ask him any branching questions, Roger. <laughs> S sorry. My, my, but anyway. We're happy to answer any questions you ask, provided you ask them quick. Our lunch break will be over any minute now, and the moment it ends, we're officially back on the clock. Gotta get back to work, you know? They're adorable. Nice hat. Hey, thanks. If I find any of my I find it makes my head complete. Why don't your friend have a hat? I I don't do hats, I'm afraid. I I can see this is the vibe between you. <laughs> this festering gap growing in your friendship. Stop trying to break apart gays! This difference of ideologies so will always lead to war. <laughs> hey, I I'm cool with the fact that he doesn't have a shh, sweet summer child. Be silent. <laughs> <laughs> Only darkness now. <laughs> Help! Who are you two anyway? And what do you contribute to the world? But that's an existential question. What is a man's worth? But his merits. His I don't think that's what we're asking. I think he wants us by the daily grind, Roger. Uh oh. So sorry. Sorry. We work over at the Dial Time Mechanics Plant, the old one off Main Street. One that used to be the Crown Mechanics, of course, from 50 years ago, before the rebranding. Anyways, me and Peter work. We're good there together. He does assembly. And I'm the manager. I'm his manager. I see. Wait, you're his manager? Well, yeah. You see, one afternoon, her old manager ran into the assembly floor, the papers shuffling frantically in hand. He, he said our plant is going to go through some new changes, and one of us is going to be promoted to his old position. Was he promoted? T to a corpse, yes. Oh shit. <laughs> Nasty business of that. Turns out the guy had ties to the dial town mob, and the cops had finally caught up with him. And cool. just jumping out of a four-story window on the <coughs> trampolines we'd just manufactured. What allowed me to learn that the trampoline machine wasn't printing any of the actual trampoline parts. Bar the trampoline spring. <laughs> <laughs> oh, well, that guy... Oh, Probably so cracked his die, head. The cops just start shooting at me. I figured, phone lord, if I can pass his job off to me, may he could pass his he could pass his crime to me, you know. Regardless, I persisted and made it through to his brave face. Then. You hid and cried at the desk for the whole ordeal, actually. Shh, shh, shh. Yeah, but he didn't know that. 
I love Roger. He's fucking adorable. I love him. He's amazing. Wait, didn't you say you? He picked you to be the manager and not your friend? Your friend seems far less incompetent at, at, at being a person. Hey, don't insult my boy! Oh, the old man just said that my d diligence and experience. Roger's assembly line was the closest to the door, and thus the closest to the manager, right as he entered. Okay, this is making a lot of sense. <laughs> Basically just turned around and said, YOU! What? You're the manager now! Uh, what? What? Goodbye! Jumps out a four-story window. <laughs> Speaking of, we have to get back to the plan. But wait, I thought you said Roger was the manager. Who's powerful enough to reprimand Roger for being late? Uh, nobody. Just had to get back there to make sure nobody else is running late. Speaking of... Possibly cool being Roger's lackey. I'm Roger's employee, not his lackey. Besides, it's not even that. I'm actually a lot of. I actually take a lot of pride in my work. I'm honestly just grateful that the manager I get a manufacturing job here and don't have to return back to working at the pizza joint in Colorado. I'd much rather assemble nuts and bolts than pizzas, thank you very much. Plus, there's worse managers out there than Roger. Roger Christ, you could meet my you should meet my brother. There's so many different versions of phone Jesus and phone God and I fucking love it. <laughs> should, should I? Oh, phone lord, no. You wouldn't want to want to catch whatever he has and makes his skin look it like it does. Wait, wait, wait. What's what, 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 what the? You think I'm having green skin? Is freaky? Trying clementine orange. I'm standing right here, you know. What? Well, well, how many nipples does he have? Okay, Four. Okay. I stand corrected. Maybe it's not all that. STOP TALKING ABOUT MY NIPPLES! <sighs> oh, oh. I don't think this is going very well. We... Just go. I've got errands to run anyway. <laughs> it's the late, you know. I think you're- and, and, and hey, if you ever need a job, I'll never work for you. <laughs> Never toil, never slave away to my, my daily bread. I will die as I live, unemployed and wearing stolen bowling alley shoes. Goodbye, one and all, Roger and Peter. See you on the flip side. Nice meeting you, I guess. Stop talking about my. Well, that has its. Where would you like to go? That that ended badly. I think. I think we're we're sad. Are we desperate enough for that now? I would probably turn off the stream for a, for a second so I could actually see if it would actually get me in trouble. Cause we could always try to zoo. Hold up. I'm I'm gonna take away streams rights for a second because I want to see it. <laughs> Only you and I get to know its secrets. Alright, I'm, I'm gonna do that. Bye bye. <coughs> yep. Yeah, we're not on stream anymore. Oh. <laughs> I 
I mean, our head is literally a phone. Or is that not how it works? This might be a good place to study eggs. <laughs> Free food. Unfortunately, it doesn't have the money that so we can't use it. It works. Wait. Yeah. I didn't want to say anything. So that was, yeah. that was fruitless. <laughs> oh, we got it. We, we have a raccoon friend now. We got a raccoon named Bob. <laughs> a dead raccoon named Bob. <laughs> we so, have to be very specific with these things, otherwise, they're gonna be draw fan art with the live raccoon when it's clearly dead. Oh, wait, isn't my head a working phone? <laughs> That's what you just said! You're only remembering now that your head is still a phone? I didn't hear you suggest using it. We actually did, ironically. <laughs> I don't exist. You're standing in a phone booth alone, holding a dead raccoon! He has a name, you know! <laughs> Fine, let's just make the call. God damn it. Sorry, I'm gonna have to steal your rights again. No. 
Is anyone gonna pick up? <laughs> it's egg time. Hi, never say that again. <laughs> if it gets too bad, I'm just not gonna say it. Hi, my name's Randy J, and I'm feeling ready for you to. I'm sorry. My boss forces me to say that. I really should have just lied about my name. It's quite alright. How you feeling <laughs> doing tonight, Randy? Uh, uh, you know, same as always, which is never great. So sorry about taking a little while to pick up the phone, by the way. I actually work right now. I mean, of course you are. Don't you work at uh, this phone <laughs> fix hotline? <laughs> I mean, yes, of course I do, but it's only a side job. I have to make enough money to pay my rent, which is laughably high. So then what That's exactly bad. is your main job, then? During the day, I work as a bird wrangler for Dial Town Animal Control. Oh, I, I'm, I'm kind of in the middle of subduing a hostile swan right now. <laughs> Wait, did you just say you're fighting a swan? I, I mean, it's not that I'm fighting a swan, more like I'm trying my darn to subdue it and capture it before it wreaks havoc. <sighs> what kind of chaos would a lone swan cause anyway? <laughs> oh, you know, it'd, it'd probably just honk at a bus, maybe ruin a few family picnics. Oh my god. <laughs> Armageddon! <laughs> I'm sorry, I... I got all caught up on the swan talk. Y you see, most of my customers call, you know, later. Only weirdos tend to warm the duck during the complete stranger on the lunch break during the 12 hour shift at Dialtown Battery Factory. <laughs> I mean, no offense. <laughs> I'll go back battery factory, you say. Would you recommend the factory as, I don't know, this <laughs> location for a heavily pregnant friend's eggs? I, I mean, there is there anything else you want to talk about? Can you give me a swan fact? <laughs> no, I, I, I want to. I want to. I want to try. Beggars can't be choosers. Is that your sexuality or your dating policy? You kidding me? I haven't found someone willing to tolerate my presence. That, that's marriage material. <laughs> oh, I know. Simple toast. Buy simple toast. <laughs> and then they're just acting nice because they're turn just trying to steal my organs. Fool me once. How many organs have you lost, my good sir? I don't think you lost it, but I think it was a very close call. <laughs> Pol I'm politely asking. Are you are you asking me out on, on a on a date? Yes! Yes! Please, please, please date me. Please, you seem like a genuinely nice guy. This is turning out a lot better than what we thought was gonna happen. I'm gonna be real with ya. Yeah, thanks for noticing. Jeez, uh, is it? Is. I've never been asked about a date before! Randy, Randy, my sweet summer child. I will take care of you. <laughs> Usually, I'm the dude who has to beg people to go out for coffee with me. And to resist their to throw okay. the scalding beverage in my face during the sordid ordeal of taking me out. So you're in? I sure as heck am! What, what do I have to lose? Hell yeah! Hell yeah! Randy, my He's boy. gonna lose a chunk of his sanity. That's his price. <laughs> Randy, my beloved. Randy, you are amazing. I- ah! 
just aggressively just starts, just holds gently. I could be like a serial killer and murder you for your skin or whatever. Yeah, well, as I always say, at worst it's probably just kill me, which is best for everyone, including myself. Wow, low self-esteem, am I right? Good amount of words to move by. <laughs> so, when do you want to do this? Does right now work? I, I mean, I'm kind of at work right now, and you know, the swan isn't going to wrangle it. So I am heavily pregnant! <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, I just, uh, this is a now or never ready! <laughs> It's a now or never, Randy! Choose! Are you going to go with the heavily pregnant lizard person or not? <laughs> uh, alright. Uh, I guess I can leave for a few minutes. Take your, take your time, my sweet. It's okay. My time is actually worth very little. Oh, <laughs> oh wow. It's better if I just run so I get all sweaty and you can't smell the scent of Swan Massacre. And desperation over my overwhelming body odor. <laughs> if my manager so, asks later, it's just say that the swan won. It always does. Anyway. <laughs> okay. The swan always wins. You, you cannot fight it. The swan will win. They are very mean creatures, IRL. Oh yeah, we, we've seen them. They're they're mean fuckers. They deserve to get beat up, honestly. I still remember one time seeing a zookeeper trying to, like, put something in their enclosure, and they were just like, Nyeh! They're as vicious as a turkey. <laughs> Meaner, they have teeth. Yeah. But turkeys have the girth to really slam hard. This, this is the closest thing I have to flirting. I'm just going with it. I'm yeah. That my pants were already wet with the pond water and stuff. <laughs> Otherwise, I'd have to change my pants right now. <laughs> I'll, I'll see you there. Randy, I love you. You are you are fucking amazing. Well then. He's desperate enough to go with an egg laying freak like us. Wattpad, what the fuck? Of it's all times, I literally just got a, a fucking Wattpad notification. Eggs. 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 What do you think of him? Personally, Eggs. I find him awful in every conceivable way. Don't talk mean about my husband. <laughs> well, what about you? I think he's cute. I'm not surprised, in all honesty. You aren't? Nope. I mean, you can eat ro you eat roadkill. After all, what is Randy if not the detainable equivalent of roadkill? He is not. Listen, he has so low self-esteem, so I give him a hug. He oh. has a life-threatening low self-esteem. You mean? Hey, it's just me. <laughs> You've got a date to attend. <laughs> Woo! I got a date! Hell yeah! So, what now? Where'd you like to go? So many phone people. But hey, at least we're gonna get what we want. The outskirts of Dial Town. <laughs> it's where we bum fuck of nowhere. <laughs> it's not that bad. <laughs> Some people like to get away from it, you know? It's all being what? Civilization a lack of blood sucking ticks everywhere? What are you talking about? Dial Town's crawling with lawyers. <laughs> <laughs> Ticks have similarities, sure, but there's there's one clear difference. What? The extra legs? No. The ticks fall off when you die. 
<laughs> okay, I'm gonna have to save that one for later. <laughs> yeah. So, oh. what now? <laughs> Which wonder in the woods? Randy's waiting for you. Randy. Oh, I have- We haven't even met them in person yet. Where would you like to go? Apparently I can't. Let's head back to the fun fair. I don't even know if it's an option to be poly in this game. <laughs> you ready to meet Randy at the gate? Let's do it. <laughs> Let's do it! I mean, uh... G come on! Y y you've got a date to catch! Yeah, my boy! God's back! Hi! Me again! Just stirring you up a little fi final one-time reminder. You can access the menu at any time using the escape key. If you need to change any settings or save the game at any time. Also, to make complete completionist playthroughs easier, I've added this baby at the top of the screen. It appears every time a root divergent choice occurs, reminding you to save at that moment. So I can just go in here and just go and just, and just mm -hmm. save. Yeah, I suggest we save since we're about to go on a date. Bob. Allowing you to try other endings without <laughs> backpedaling. Thank you, and don't forget, better safe than sorry. <gasps> Jerry! Oh no. Ticket Jerry, my friend! <laughs> Why can't I just have an average day at work? You work in a phone booth, a ticket booth. What were you expecting? Look, sir, I said I'm not willing to let you just get off my back. And I'm not willing to take you myself. So unless you're suddenly able to pull a romantic partner out of, out of your- HE'S COMING! <laughs> Who is he? Randy. <laughs> Did you actually manage to rope some poor sucker into paying you into the, fa the fun fair? Or is it some kind of bizarre and whimsical distraction designed to hold my attention while your weird stomach enzymes dissolve a gaping hole in our fence for you to climb through? <laughs> Can we do no. that? Randy's a real hu human being. Y yeah, I mean, I a human like a, a person? Yeah, one of those! <laughs> this alleged Randy person. I actually know a few Randys, you know? Wait, Randys? Randy? Randy? <laughs> Sorry. Point is, I know a Randy or two. Say, does your Randy happen to be really pale and scrawny, covered in bandages? Maybe. Constantly smell of sweat, desperation, and swan rage? <laughs> How'd you know? How many swans does he fight? Y yeah, that sounds about right, actually. <laughs> yeah. I'm glad Randy's got someone to spend his Valentine's Day with this year. Quite a pity that that little literal cryptid who just wants to use him as a pawn to get him to lay egg, his egg laying plan. Hey, I'm not just using him, I actually care about him. The eggs are a bad added bonus. <laughs> oh, that's sweet. Judge me not, fleshy second dispenser. <laughs> Static. 
Only Phone God may judge me. I can and I will judge you. <laughs> Randy! <laughs> the phone thing just literally just says fuckface. Hey, hey, sorry I'm late. I had to roll around in a puddle to get the swan blood off my clothes for the big date. Oh my goodness, he won! Oh, who am I kidding? We both know the blood is slits so for mine. Aww, never mind. <laughs> but, but hey, you, you look marvelous, my sweet. Oh dear god. Weird, you look cuter than the picture of you on the phone. Oh, I, I, do you really, yes, yes. Randy. He is adorable. I know your brains are probably all scrambled from the accident and the numerous swan maulings, but come on, man. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Humor. <laughs> Don't fall for these honeyed words. Please! <laughs> what are you talking about, Jerry? <coughs> He's using you, Randy. We have then he should have scooped them up when he had the chance. Day for Don't ruin this for me, Jerry! Don't ruin this for me, you fucker! This is my chance at love! He just wants to pay for him so he can lay his eggs in a moist pit somewhere in the fun fair. Let me have my Randy in peace! Oh, oh, I mean... If Jerry really wanted to protect him, then he should have started dating him before we got to him. Yeah, I, I, I knew that. You knew?! <laughs> And still, you came! <laughs> Things can't be choosers, Jerry. <laughs> the sheer desperation of this bad, poor, poor man who suffered several spawn maulings. Randy. <laughs> it's a bean. We got ourselves a bean. I will protect it with my fucking life. Fine. It's your funeral, I suppose. No. No, I will protect him. He is my boy. I'll be two dollars then, Randy. Uh, okay. I should have two dollars. I, uh... I should have about two dollars in here. Maybe slightly less. You know what? J just go in, Randy. <laughs> really? Y yeah, I I've had enough of this wretch of a creature for today. <laughs> I'd like to see how you look with a hoosackle of egg. Randy, please just get this creature out of my sight. Yeah, yes, sir. Oh, he's a bean. Come on, hun. Let's go do romance like a couple of lovebirds. Nee. He's first, hun. Uh, hey, I, I really know man, but I... Nee. I... Okay. You know what? I'm just happy to be correctly referred to in any context that isn't so crushingly scathing. I love him. After you. Well, we managed to succeed in our goal. There we are, my love. Dial Town Fun Fair and all its grease soaked safety inspection failing glory. <laughs> 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 so, my love, what shall we do for eggs? Uh oh. Uh, uh, right. I mean, after the egg laying, it, we could have a lot more fun. You, you wanna just uh, lay those eggs? Right now, or you know, get it over with. <laughs> I'm 
not gonna yell at him. It, w it wouldn't help. <laughs> sure, alright. If, if you need, need to, I, I guess. I've never liked eggs before myself. Not that I can, you know? <laughs> I'm sure it's hard to do without a... Sufficient bracing. <laughs> I'll just, uh... Give you some privacy and get to it. <laughs> Birth is one of the most painful things someone could experience. Guys are lucky they don't have to ever experience it. It's like childbirth, but worse. What, what's the matter? Yep. There are a lot more eggs. Heavily pregnant. I've got stage fright. <laughs> uh, right. Uh, so, uh, what now? Could always go on a few rides. I don't think that's safe for the eggs, but okay. Let's see if we can shake the eggs out of my gut. <laughs> wow. That is absolutely wretched. But, I mean... I guess we can try rides eggs now. <laughs> just, just the aggressive just rides now. But I mean, I guess we can try rides eggs now. Anything for you, my love. <laughs> I'm not just falling for this man. I'm straight up just face planted into the in, down a flight of stairs for this man. <laughs> and then straight out the door, and then wow. down the sewer pipe, cool. and straight into an endless pit. You could be. You could be this feeling of love. No way! Just your squish. Just your egg squishing inside of you. This game is so threatening. Like, 24 7. <laughs> oh lord, I think I'm gonna hurl. I swear, if I have to go on one more vaunt, because fear not, Randy. I am ready to lay my eggs. Oh, good, good then. Alright, uh, right there? Yes. Th this ditch is squirrel and dank. Damp and thoroughly moist. <laughs> In close proximity to the hot dog stand. Yes, a perfect nesting location. Right, uh... Did do you need me here for this, or... Fetch me a hot dog mating partner? <laughs> I, I mean, I can do that, sure. Egg laying is a strenuous ordeal! I require sustenance! <laughs> fine, fine. I, uh... Uh, I'll be- I'll be right back. <laughs> With one quality Theragrand wiener. <laughs> uh, who am I kidding? <laughs> we both know that there'll be rat tails, pink hooves, and horse jerky in a sausage. I'm just gonna go lay my eggs in peace. <laughs> the sounds of the damned. <laughs> Would you look at that? My babies! <laughs> this is how it was my voice. They're, uh... <laughs> They're, uh, beautiful. <laughs> Why is 
he holding it like that? <laughs> hey, Hannah, I bet. Uh huh? I, I suppose these would be your eggs then? Hot dog. I'm a dad, Randy! A dad! <laughs> See that? Yes. <laughs> They're quite uh green. Thank you. <laughs> you're uh you're, you're very much welcome. Yeah. <laughs> so uh, what now? Throw some topsoil over the eggs and. Wonderful. Good, my babies are safe and sound. Okay, so like... The eggs have been laid, but the night is still young. Yes! Let's go! We should like, seize the moment. I do... Yes, deem the carp. Deem the carp! Oh yeah! What shall we do first? Go play some dumb carnival games, raid the hot dog stands. I'm gonna have to walk all those places. Yeah, the whole 10 meters is a walk away. Oh dear. It happens that Randy wants to walk 11 yards to your left. Fuck, oh fuck. I just laid a fuck ton of eggs. My legs are jelly. My legs are limp and flaccid! <laughs> yeah. Also, never use the word flaccid around me again, thanks. What do? Okay, calm down. J just look around for something to do. Something slightly closer than 10 meters away. Something you can crawl over if you have to. Crawl. Hot dog. Activity! I'm sorry, what? Also, maybe stop talking to me in front of Randy. <laughs> you're, you're probably scaring him because you sound like a, a wounded feral animal right now. I am a wounded feral animal! Hun, uh, are, are you alright? Do you need a glass of water or whatever combo? Whiskey and bat nectar you're kind of likely consumed? PANIC! Like, hi, hi. Said the word panic out loud. Fortune teller! What? What? Oh, look, Randy! Is it like a majestic fortune teller, like from Ride the Cyclone? Exactly, two. You casually crawl table. Meters that way, that way. Is that a fortune teller animatronic? It's out of order. Madam Mediocre! Those what? things are always scams. I don't know if you kind of have a- th that sounds like a bad idea you But dear Randy, don't you want to gaze into your future? Uh, I mean, my pressing is already bad enough. And the sign says the machine's out of order. That won't stop us, Randy! This is a bad idea in so many ways. much less than 40 years of misery I have left on this hellscape for all at once. Just destroy the last fabric of my FUTURE! Look, look I, I, I can't be here right now. I'll, 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 I'll see you around, you know? Randy, no! Don't leave me! I... Randy, no! Randy, no! Huh. Well, that's odd. Seems like Randy really didn't like the idea of hearing his own future. I wonder why that is. Kind of scary. It renders all of us not conventionally good narrator. Yeah, unless you're a disembodied voice like me. <gasps> Listen, fuck you! You get to just exist! I didn't get to read that one, I just saw the smiley face. Come on then, let's go home. 
I thought I could walk though. Sorry, let me offer a correction. Let's crawl home then. Ah, shit. Goodbye, my children. I'll return to you when I- all oh, when I can. Yeah, yeah, circle of life and all that shit. Let's just go. Well, we did it. We laid the eggs. <laughs> and we got kind of a boyfriend. We got Randy. Yeah. Ah, here I am awake and fortunately alive. Another fine morning indeed. I just realized the Dial Town logo is on the pillow. <laughs> yep. <sighs> fine morning indeed. Fuck. Oh god. I hate being alive. I need distraction of some kind. Good morning to you too. Narrator, distract me! I, uh... Did you know the dragons are actually real, just really high up in the sky? There's also some close to the ground. You just can't see them either since they're all invisible. You're a liar! How dare you feed me such falsehoods! The epitome of worthless lies! Oh dear. Did you know that ketchup is actually just tomato nectar? You are distracting me from not! Jeez, fine. Well, you could, uh, stare at your light bulb just close up for a while. Try to burn your optical sensors out. You don't have to see how boring your surroundings are. Capital idea, don't do that. Let's, let's see here. the fuck are those? Why are there tiny microphone flies? God, that's a lot of flies. Sure is. Guess I'll help you clean up the place. It's still February. I'll get started on my yearly cleanup later. You gonna actually remember to get them done this year? Without child labor, that is? Maybe. <laughs> that... That's really a no, isn't it? Almost definitely yes. Mm-hmm. I'm gonna change the scenery. Where would I even go? I don't know. You go out of the local, <laughs> local bench. Would I have to sit down? Well, legally, no. But why go otherwise? I don't know, but my kinsters is pretty darn raw. <laughs> I just laid five fucking eggs. Egg laying isn't exactly something you do. I do daily, you know. Fine, you know what? If you want to go to the bench and not sit down, that's fine too. Nah, I'll just sit down. <laughs> well, isn't this green bench? That's right, Snow. <laughs> Fucking weirdo. This is really <laughs> engaging me, to be frank. I don't want to draw the bone snow. That would be chaos. You managed to sit down on the bench despite your excruciating anal agony, which is quite impressive, don't get me wrong. I want to do something. Other than not trying to look too agonized, lest pa passing strangers think you're taking really strange stuff, that is. So, what now? Hmm, you could always look around. Gaze at the local scenery. Delightful! Yes! Just let me look at the scenery. Ooh, it's all purple. Behold, yeah. Trees. Also, I gotta go. Alright. Yeah, I'm, I'm it is late. And, I'm gonna try and finish this chapter and then just end. Yeah. Right. Good luck, Beth. Night. Night. Or day whenever the audience sees this. You know who you are. <laughs> but also, I bored easily. Okay, I'm bored again. Well, why not walk for a while before using up this distraction? God, the boredom, it's unbearable! Seriously? Okay. Let's just go and look at something else. What the fuck? 
behold the mighty swan. Huh? You know, it's been a long time since I've seen one of these puppies up close. I mean, they're not puppies. They're swans. Swans! Shh, please, hush now. Make me. Swan's a fucking paper shredder? God, these things are terrifying up close. Okay, now I can see why they're such a threat. Because you shook your hand in there, it's fucked. God, these things are terrifying up close. Why do you have to give the paper shredders for heads? The fantasy of having office swans was a ridiculous one, alright? <laughs> and a messy one. You know... I'll... Uh, it, it just now occurred to me why Randy has bandies on his hands since he had to wrangle these feathered shredder dinos on a daily basis. Randy? Look at that. A fine chap we went on a date last night. The dude with fuckface written on his forehead? Yeah, that's the guy, right? Speaking of which, where is he? Wait a moment. <laughs> you have one of those idealers coming again? Companionship! Uh, uh huh. If I find Randy, he can like say and do stuff in front of me, which I'll, I'll like cure my boredom, mayhaps. Yep, that's the idea of social interaction, anyway. Really, to alleviate boredom? Well, yeah, kinda. Please refer to the handy interaction pentagon. Love, giving, and receiving it. Alleviation, relieving boredom, violence and such, tax benefits, bug facts. Okay, good to know, good to know. I bet he has some interesting bug facts in there. As you can see, boredom is the key reason we're interacting with others. With bug facts, violence, tag benefits, and love being the f other four less important reasons. What bug facts? I just think I just think they're neat. Anywho, you should find Randy then. Might end up curing your fried boredom, you know. Where is he? Where is my Randall? Well, I don't know. I have no clue where he would be right now, to be frank. Why not ask around town? You're really bad at this. Okay, then you go search for him. Cryptid away! This is just aggressive scuttling noises. Okay. That's where I'm gonna end it. Oh, I guess uh, I was gonna end it when I ended chapter one. So, I'm probably gonna try and finish this stream tomorrow for chapter two. Hopefully. Who knows, but yeah, hopefully. Alright, cool. Anyways, thank you to whoever is still watching this. Um, I, had, I had a fun time with this. I, I was not expecting to meet Randy, and it was a very pleasant surprise. So, anyways, to all of the people watching this, probably like two, thank you for watching. Good, goodbye and good night. I wish you all a good night, but also chaos. Alright. Goodbye.